Hi guys, I'm your host from Hairsite.com, one of the world's largest and longest running websites for hair restoration. Today's video is produced in collaboration with Dr. A's Hair Clinic, a top ranked number one hair clinic in the world, according to Hairsite's patient statistics. Dr. A's Hair Clinic is founded by Dr. Arvine Poswall, a pioneer in cutting edge hair restoration for men and women in one of the most versatile hair transplant surgeons in the world. Today's topic is the effect of pumpkin seed oil for hair growth. As always, we only report treatments that are backed by actual clinical trials. This hair regrowth study was led by the Research Institute of Convergence Biomedical Science and Technology in Korea. The premise is that pumpkin seed oil may have anti-androgenic effects in humans and can potentially block the effects of 5-alpha reductase. 5-alpha reductase is responsible for the conversion of testosterone to DHT, and DHT is believed to be the cause of male pattern baldness. A total of 76 male patients were involved in the double-blinded study with ages ranging from 20 to 65. They all exhibited signs of male pattern baldness, anywhere from class 2 to class 5 on the Norwood scale. None of the subjects had used any hair loss treatments three months prior to the commencement of the trial. In the study, the test subjects each received 400 milligrams of pumpkin seed oil supplement for a period of 24 weeks. The trial results were then evaluated by means of four assessments. Hair count. Clinical before and after photographs. Patient's self-assessment. Increase in hair thickness. In the results after 24 weeks, an astounding 40% increase in hair count was reported in the treatment group compared to only 10% in the placebo group. Let's go to NIH's website and take a look at some of the trial result photos. Should you rush out and get a bottle of pumpkin seed oil supplement for hair growth? Hold it, tiger, not so fast. After digging into this study a bit further, although we wouldn't call it lies, there are definitely inconsistencies that are worth mentioning. First, pumpkin seed oil? The heading of the trial is effect of pumpkin seed oil on hair growth in men but it turns out that it was pumpkin seed powder and not pumpkin seed oil that was used in the trial. You may say, who cares? Well, you should. Delivering vehicle for supplements do make a difference. For example, whole herbs and powder are generally not standardized, meaning they haven't been tested to determine how much chemical potency they contain, whereas potency standardization is less of a problem for other vehicles. Besides the oil versus powder issue with this study, it is also discovered that it wasn't just pumpkin seed that was used in the study. The test subjects were actually given a product called Octasable Plus in the trial, which contains the following ingredients. Pumpkin seed powder, mixed vegetable powder, evening primrose powder, corn silk extracted powder, red clover powder, tomato powder. So, now the question is whether it was pumpkin seed alone that generated the 40% hair growth or was it a synergy of all these ingredients that did the trick? Third, the study was supposed to evaluate if pumpkin seed oil promotes hair growth by blocking DHT. It is disappointing that DHT and prostate-specific antigen, or PSA levels, were not measured in order to validate the mechanism of pumpkin seed. In other words, the study failed to explain the exact action of pumpkin seed in male hair loss patients. This doesn't offer much help to those who want to replace finasteride with a natural supplement such as pumpkin seed oil. Last but not least, do you know who paid for the study? Well, the study was supported by a grant from a company called Dream Plus One Company Limited. It turns out, Dream Plus One is also the very company that sells the product Octasable Plus the exact same product that the test subjects used in this trial. Let's take a look at a website that sells this product and also some before and after photos we found. As for those who had tried pumpkin seed oil for hair loss, here's a review from one of our forum members. I've been taking 4,000 milligrams a day for many years. I can't say that it increased growth, but it might have stopped hair loss. It definitely helps the urine flow, which I assume reflects its DHT blocking effect. So all the facts are there, folks. If you have questions on this topic or about hair restoration in general, contact Dr. A's Hair Clinic directly. 
They can answer all your questions about cutting age hair restoration technologies. No fee, no cost, just good, honest information. Dr. A's Hair Clinic is a sponsoring clinic on HairSight with over 15 years of uninterrupted successful patient records and crowned overall number one in the world for six consecutive years.